Hello, welcome to our time of daily prayer and reflection. My name is Rich Schmidt, I'm one of the pastors here at Living Hope Community Church in Valparaiso. Uh, today I want us to reflect on one of the Psalms. Uh, pretty much all the Psalms can be used as prayers, helping us to have words for the conversations that we need to have with God. Uh, so different Psalms will resonate at different times with us, and this is one that uh, has been resonating with me today. Um, Actually, since yesterday, when I had the chance to hear Dr. John Bowling, the president of Olivet Nazarene University, talk for a little bit about one verse uh, in Psalm 40 that says this, Many, Lord my God, are the wonders you have done, the things you planned for us. None can compare with you. Were I to speak and tell of your deeds, they would be too many to declare. Now, Dr. Bowling is retiring, and so this verse led him down a path of reflecting on all the ways that God had been at work in Olivet's history, from its founding over 100 years ago, through a bankruptcy, a fire, a relocation, and much more right up to today, uh, where now it's a solid, thriving Christian university. Um, it's actually where Stacy and I met back in our college days. Uh, this practice of looking back and reflecting on how God's been at work in your life, in your history, maybe even before you were born, this is a good practice for any of us to engage in. You know, we believe that God is at work in the world and in our lives uh, long before we ever think to reach out to him or cooperate with him, you know, before we're even aware of God. He already loves us and is already at work for our good. Do you remember that passage from yesterday from Ephesians chapter 1? It said, even before he made the world, God loved us and chose us in Christ to be holy and without fault in his eyes. God decided in advance to adopt us into his own family by bringing us to himself through Jesus Christ. This is what he wanted to do, and it gave him great pleasure. This also makes me think of John chapter 1, where he says that Jesus gave life to everything that was created, and his life brought light to everyone. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness can never extinguish it. You know, God moves first, giving us life. He doesn't wait for us to uh, reach out to him or to ask before he starts shining his light into our lives, and he does this for everyone. So when we look back at our lives, at our histories, we can see ways that God has been at work, even before we realize it. If we go back to the beginning of Psalm 40, it starts like this. I waited patiently for the Lord. He turned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and mire. He set my feet on a rock and gave me a firm place to stand. He put a new song in my mouth, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see and fear the Lord and put their trust in him. Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, who does not look to the proud, to those who turn aside to false gods. Many, Lord my God, are the wonders you have done, the things you planned for us. None can compare with you. Were I to speak and tell of your deeds, they would be too many to declare. God has been faithful in our histories. He has rescued us time and time again, so we trust him for the future and look forward to the things that he has planned for us. And when we face difficulties, and we always do, we have confidence in God's love, confidence in his care for us. And we know that we can reach out to him for help, and he hears us. That's how Psalm 40 ends several verses later. In verse 17, it says, But as for me, I am poor and needy. May the Lord think of me. You are my help and my deliverer. You are my God. Do not delay. The writer of this psalm has confidence that just like God has rescued him in the past, God will rescue him now. Now, I know that we're all in different places in life. Some of you, things are going great, and it is easy to sing God's praises today and make a big, long list of the ways God has been good to you. Uh, some of you, you're stuck right now in that slimy mud pit. And uh, you're wondering if God sees and cares. Well, if that's you, I encourage you to remember the ways that God has been faithful in the past to encourage you to turn to him today and to say, like Psalm 40, God, you are my help, my deliverer. You are my God. Do not delay. Now, sometimes it's not our own circumstances, but someone else's that weighs in our hearts and we cry out to God on their behalf. I was just hearing news reports again this morning out of India and the terrible spike in COVID cases that's overwhelmed their hospitals and has left people dying outside hospitals waiting for beds to open up. And I heard two more reports this morning about acts of violence here in our country that have left our black and brown neighbors grieving and frustrated and afraid. I hear these things and I think, oh God, you are our help 
our deliverer. We need you. Do not delay. So let's go ahead and take a moment. Let's bow our heads and pray. God, thank you. Thank you for being at work in our lives. You have done things that we may never know, uh, protected us from things that we never saw coming, guided our steps when we thought we were on our own, blessed us when we thought we had done it ourselves. Thank you. Help us today to be aware of your work in our lives, to see your hand at work in our histories and in our present day. Help us to see it and to give you thanks for it. We are grateful, God for your faithful love for us. That's what gives us the confidence to come to you today, lifting up to you our needs and the needs of our neighbors. God, you see things long before we do. I mean, long before it's on our news, you were there with those suffering violence, and you're there with them now as they grapple with their hurt and grief and fear and frustration. Would you bring your comfort to them? And would you help us to see the ways that we can better love these neighbors of ours? And long before the news makes it from India to us, you were there with those desperate to get into a hospital, desperate to get oxygen, to get treatment, to get care. You're with the families of those who have died. Would you bring them comfort? And would you guide those leaders who are able to do something about this situation? If there's something that we can do, would you help us to see it and to do it? As, uh, as helpless, as powerless as we feel sometimes, God, we know that you are not powerless. You are our help and deliverer. God, would you be that for these neighbors that we lift up to you today and more that we've not mentioned but lift up to you in our hearts? We ask you, God, please do not delay. Thank you, God, for speaking through the scriptures by your Holy Spirit and for hearing our prayers today. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Would you join me in these prayers? Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. And would you join me in praying the prayer Jesus taught us? Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Now may God, who has already done great wonders and has good things planned for you, too many to count, may he fill you with hope and peace and confidence in him. Amen.